Sky, the hit new game that, that everyone's gonna be able to play if, if you think it looks good. Uh, this is a dating sim by Homestuck Mastermind Andrew Hussey and the recently deceased Namco subsidiary uh, Shifty Look. I bought into this a while back when it was still in its conception stage and never played it, and uh, yesterday I learned it's going down today, so I figured it would be fun to just go into this blind. I mean, it's a visual novel, so maybe it's a little weird that I'm recording it, but, you know, it, it should be interesting. I think I think this game appealed to me so much it kind of killed it like Shifty looks sort of like a scary story about weird retro resurrection type of stuff like apparently Namco just was funneling money into it because it was moderately successful and they like had really huge con presence but like never really did anything but make web comics and like just ran out of deficit for three years and got killed. That's sad. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna have a webcam LP uh, where you get to see my hot new reactions. You could see I'm wearing, wearing my Namco High shirt that I got for buying in early. But uh, Maybe that would be a little more obnoxious than I give it credit for. So I'm going to assume you all can read as fast as me and concentrate while I'm talking as well as I can. But you can obviously pause. I'll try not to skip anything too important. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. But this is, this is a pretty good game so far. Hmm. I think this. Oh well, well, here's Homestuck, but uh, maybe this is a tiny bit weirdly conceived. It. I guess if you were reading all the web comics for these dead Namco characters, it would make more sense. Um, I might end up muting my audio. Is there supposed to be music here? It's a little confusing. I guess not, because the main menu still has music. Maybe the server's already down and I'm like running a bugged copy. Okay. There, there we go. This is this is what I want. More games should probably have cousins as pr protagonists without actually being k Katamari games. Okay, th there, there's audio. Some of these guys are in Project Cross Zone, which I actually started playing several months ago. Valkyrie at least. That's also sort of like a retro revival thing. I don't know so much about the Namco and Sega characters, but er, what was it? Namco, Sega, and uh, Capcom. Yeah. It's funny. I really only know the flagship franchises of all those boys. I'm glad I'm glad that this character's name is Dig Dug. Hmm, wait, am I just in detention? No, no, okay, I get I get uh I feel like this might be more compelling with music. If any of you happen to play this back when the servers were up and the company wasn't out of business, I'd be kinda interested to know if there was music. It might be more effective if they like showed what games characters were from as they got introduced, but maybe that would clutter the screen. Uh, 
I'm not sure how much of this Hussy wrote. These aren't, these aren't very homestuck jokes. Okay, I'm gonna die here, might be. Meowkies from Mappy Land. Why does not have Banjo Kazooie talking voices? Ah, uh, oh man, I love, I love, uh, I love. Crap, I don't, I can't remember the game that those guys from Kirby were in. The, like weird maze game. It's gonna make make a hot new joke. I missed out on it. There we go. N now we're now we're now we're in business. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if because I bought like all the characters immediately, it made this intro really extended. Yeah, th there was probably a lot of stuff ill-conceived with this. It sounded good on paper if you uh, didn't didn't think about it too hard. Well, they're pretty proud of that lion joke. Yeah, I heard I heard stories about this being kind of a bad visual novel cuz all it has is like three choices, or m maybe it has more choices, but all it has is choices. There's no attempt at gameplay. <laughs> right now the writing's not doing much for me. I'm, I'm not quite sure uh, why I thought this is like a real hot idea. I hope this lets you save scum, because I'm bad at visual novels where you can't sca save scum. Uh oh. Okay. It doesn't load all at once. Uh, hopefully it'll be up, like, past midnight, but... I mean, it's 921 right now, and I would be pretty surprised if this had three hours of content, unless you were trying to, like, see absolutely everything, and really I'm just here for the Homestuck jokes, and out of, like, a mild sense of obligation to actually play a game I paid $20 for before it goes down forever. It'd be nice if they gave a download link to the backers and stuff, or anyone who bought the... Uh, see, see, this is why I need co-commentators, because it doesn't matter if I forget words like... Uh, f no, it's not free-to-play, it's whatever the thing it is when you make people pay extra money for extra content. Freemium. I, I, I hope there's a better word for that, because I'd be embarrassed if uh, freemium was the concept I was looking for. Oh, okay, cool music. Okay. That's a, that's a menu, alright. Pretty to the point. Maybe I should just look at literally every single dialogue, just so it's here in case anyone's curious. Anyway, I'm gonna romance Dave's spray.
just gonna say I'm sorry one last time and then stop making meta commentary on how bad this is. I might even upload a commentary less version just for people who are curious about it for whatever reason. I guess leave a hot comment if this is driving you crazy if you're in the, you know, rabbit Namco High fandom. aesthetic they're going for, but I think it's a little bit better on paper. space came out if, if for some reason you're not in the Homestuck fandom Paradox Space is a hot new comic where people make Homestuck fan comics to make up for Homestuck being over without finishing the story and um because of that I'm not as desperate for new Homestuck dialogue as the old days so that's, that's really my fault. I should have probably tried to make good on my backlog. It's sort of like a parable of why maybe you should play video games you buy sometimes. Because maybe their company and infrastructure will go out of business and you'll awkwardly have to play them while talking to yourself. And feeling a little bit bad about your consumerism. 
I'll attach a picture of me wearing the Namco High shirt. With, with today's newspaper. No, no, I'm not gonna bother finding a newspaper. I, I, I want it to be dated though. This is gross. some of that dialogue, but it's sort of like awkward laughter to be polite, and <laughs> I probably need to put a disclaimer in front of this video. It would be cool if I, if I did something. more loading screens. Alright, I gotta I gotta blow through this. Gotta do the hot speed run. The visual novel speedrun community is actually kinda hostile compared to some of the other ones. If I ever did speedrunning it would probably have to be for like Diddy Kong Racing or Donkey Kong Country 3. I feel like this would be less depressing, which isn't saying much, if, like, there, there wasn't on a time limit for the game to go away forever. It sort of bodes poorly. Alright. That's a decent choice, I guess. I'm assuming that that, like, distinctly progressed the plot, like, away from that last menu. I don't know. I'm kind of scared that there's going to be branches that loop back on each other, and it's going to try to load after the servers are down. Because it does technically say it's shutting down on June 30th. I assume that means it'll just turn off at midnight, or, like, whenever they get around to it, but... Alright. Seems pretty good. Okay, okay, I'm looking forward to gameplay. 
guess the budget um fell out before they could make the web comics club background music. Okay, this game has a pretty good chance of redeeming itself if it shows me a fake webcomic. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Purchase, purchase redeemed. Uh, hmm, I wonder if, um, Shifty Look was, was already going out of business when they were making this. Wait, was that, was that scene supposed to be the webcomic that he drew, or was it just Sweet Pro and Hello Jeff, and that was like a artsy angle? I'm pretty I'm pretty used to um three images dialogue style visual novels so I'm assuming well I don't know I guess each character probably gets a few art scenes Oh wow okay Th this got pretty heavy Mmm, a little, a little less focused, but I feel like that was intentional. Alright, so there's going to be ecchi, ecchi, I don't really say that word out loud. Come on. Oops. I'm going to be excited if this is the end of the game. Not not because I hate content, but because it would mean I could probably get through a few runs without getting bored. Oh. Wait, maybe, maybe that implies there's more dialogue trees? Man, I'm expecting this to just blank out and say, sorry, you sh should have not been indie weeaboo homestuck trash. I think I'm gonna put background music in this so it's not so awkward. Jeez. Why did they, like, the whole gimmick is there are a bunch of different video game franchises which typically have music, and, uh, Homestuck, which basically only has music, and they, they don't, they, they have, what, two, two original tracks I've heard so far that I've played during maybe 30% of the game. All right. All right. True ending. Well, I'm going to say however much money I spent on this was probably worth it for more 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 Dave Sprite jokes because those are typically the best part of Homestuck.
Real, really mixing it up. Okay, I'm gonna. I f that seems like ending, but I thought that. Well, I didn't really think that at the start of the second menu, but. Let's see how it goes. Wasn't King from uh, Cave Story? He was, he was a big, big rabbit. I guess rabbits are uh, owned by by Ubisoft. Man, I, I almost feel like it's kind of rude to call this a dating sim. I get that was tongue in cheek, but uh. This is more like um a, a menu simulator. At least I would get like embarrassed because of playing trash games instead of embarrassed because there's literally no interaction other than menus if if it was a real dating sim. Like a very very segoy. Okay, okay, all the homestuck. I wonder if uh, when you buy the other characters, maybe... Oh crap, it, it, if like you didn't activate all the DLC, if it just had like locked things on the menu, but still had those characters in the game, that would be kind of lame, and if I know how uh, freemium, freemium games work, that might be the case. Oh, the best part of this game is you have to sign in with your Namco account, and um, the Namco account sign up sign up experience is the the, the Japanese Namco website account punch through an automatic translator and then partially not translated anyway. It's a uh, it's a uh, pretty bad. There's a whole lot of polish here. Like it was really cool they got all these web comics people to make web comics, and that they had con presents and had like neat merch with one of those uh, kitsch sites. What was it? We love fine. But uh, I don't know. They probably should have. Like, like when when the Flash games that are actually part of Homestuck are a better visual novel than your standalone visual novel. Maybe, maybe that's not a great thing. For some reason, it's a little hard for me to get invested in this story. But maybe, maybe if the characters were making Banjo-Kazooie voices, if I was several years, several years younger, probably would have had the, you know, the old random Cthulhuigi we know and love, and I would have just done the voices long past the point. It's funny, but I'm, I'm in a very solemn mood right now. It's a period of mourning. Mourning for things that I thought were really cool, funny ideas ten months ago. Not, not being very good investments. <laughs> this is gonna be, it's gonna be a, a, a real riot. Everyone's gonna be ch chuckling it up in the comments. I probably need to like put up some real videos before uploading this because if if I was subscribed to me and, and I uploaded this I, I would probably unsubscribe at least I made a Katamari fan character
So I, I, I've decided. I think Nintendo should buy Namco. I think Sega is the only realistic thing, but uh, I can dream. I don't understand why the only consoles on which a Katamari game would play coherently have never gotten Katamari games. Those being the DS, 3DS, Wii, and Wii U. And a GameCube if you're willing to count the bongo controls. Hey, I haven't heard the lion roar in a while. I wonder if you, like, weren't intentionally avoiding 95% of the game. You'd get more cool jokes. This is real heavy. I think Andrew Hussey is a sociopath. Most great artists are. At least Dave Sprite's pretty sultry. I wish I could have had a menu that, like, made me th think, like, oh, what, what item do you want? And there's a bunch of joke items that have to do with each of the characters. Alright, we're gonna get the loot art at the end, right? Yeah, this is pretty homestucky. Maybe I shouldn't say stucky. Uh, I was doing pretty well up to this point. I think this is gonna be a thing like Botanicula, where I upload it two years later, after I'm not embarrassed by it anymore. I guess you'll know when you when you hear me say this. Maybe 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 the fates will be kind and uh Camtasia will just not render. I wonder if you can hear my clicking. I wonder if this is like gonna. What? <laughs> okay, that. I, I'm gonna assume that's the highlight of the game. I'm. I'm. I'm really into. Uh, I'm really into Pac-Man jokes these days. Uh, if if you want if you want an unlisted Pac-Man joke, I came up with. S send me a personal message. I'll remember no matter when I upload this or no matter how. How how you send the personal message. And I'll give you the URL to a Pac-Man video that I made by myself by taking someone else's joke and minorly changing it in Premiere Pro. So if that sounds your kind of deal, uh, go ahead and do it. I probably should have like used this as a, as like a background thing to watch for answering questions, but then again, you kind of need to concentrate. Like, I am reading all of this. I'm not, I'm not internalizing it. I'm not being moved by the story. This does not feel like 35 minutes worth of content. I guess typically when I'm trying to narrate, time just passes really quickly, but, uh... Hey, 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 fun fact. Go through this and count how many times I say but uh or do the thing with my tongue and um if if you get the number right 
you, I'll, I'll give you a special prize, but you have to leave it in the comments. Um, I'm probably going to feel guilty if anyone comments on this, let alone does that. I don't think this is a very efficient use of uh, man hours. Probably should have made my name a joke instead of cousin, like, 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 Zelda or a uh, Lunk. Those are usually my joke names if I have to make make a joke name. <sighs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> I hope Pac-Man is like a major part of every character's uh every character's story and not just a weird meta joke here. So my favorite part about this is that um through 2 degrees of separation, Homestuck is in canon with uh basically everything because of Smash Brothers. Honestly, uh, Arcade Arcade Grand Prix was already a link because of, um... Crap! I don't remember the name of the drum from Tycho Drum Simulator. Maybe I'll just list ideas for games that I think would sell really well but don't think should be made. So if there are any, like, aspiring game developers in the audience, they can feel like I didn't waste their time by listening to this. Uh, so, start off, Drum Simulator. And I know what you're saying, hey, there's already drum rhythm games where you play a drum. Right now, simulators are big. There's probably a year left in them before uh, before the joke will wear off. So, if you can just come up with something that you can like make really awkward mechanics for and put it on Steam for $5, you could probably get away with it if you're like reasonably good at um using unity engine and uh 3D modeling. So there you go. Dr drum simulator. Really it would probably have to be band simulator. You could go with a whole aesthetic about uh make making a parody of like rock band or one of those old games that are used to be fads, but yeah, I if you know how to do networking, you could have online, you could have like Awkward hand controls for for pricking a guitar. Could have could have really weird momentum controls for s smashing the drumsticks. The thing is, simulators, joke simulators, that is, are intensely, intensely based off of awkward click and drag mechanics, and it might be pretty difficult to accurately simulate that for drums. So yeah, I guess Pac-Man was <laughs> a major gameplay element. <sighs> I wish I had really low standards for what I found an entertaining use of my time, but if you assume all the trees have the same amount of dialogue, which might be a bad assumption, because I assume Dave Sprite's going to be the most long-winded and incoherent of all of them. It's about an hour of content per character, which isn't bad considering the price, if you're really into this, but... I feel like the novelty would wear off if you, like, kept going through it, unless you're just really... you had been into the whole shifty look beforehand and didn't just get swept up by Hussey's manic acts of doing a bunch of stuff that isn't working on the Homestuck Adventure game. Okay, if, if you're watching this up to this point, you're very excited about the Homestuck Adventure game. And let me tell you, I'll make videos of that when it comes out. It looks like it's going to have gameplay mechanics. I'm guessing this is either the last or second to last decision. I will I will go as far as much to say that this I, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of mixed feelings on being 
like strict about what defines a game or not because I love a whole lot of visual novels. Okay, also if you watch it up to this point you're probably at least somewhat interested in real visual novels. I highly recommend Analog, A Hate Story, and obviously Phoenix Wright. I should probably play more of them, but I don't always have attention span. Usually I don't play games if they don't have hammers in them these days. But yeah, uh, all the visual novels I really like, even if they are like at their core menu navigation, they come up with some cool framing device, whereas this literally is just read a lot of dialogue, pick a character, read a lot of dialogue. If I had to say what I would change with this, I would at least, uh, at least come up with some cutesy, like, branching decision tree with what you do that isn't just pick literally the character's name. And I get with, like, a weird fandom-centric thing. Uh, oh. Okay, that's kind of funny. Oh, wait. Crap, I wasn't looking. I want to see the robot homestuck characters. Oh. Was that some- I'm like really kinda curious if like somehow a music server went offline <laughs> or if it's just buggy for some reason. <sighs> well, you know, I got a stupid hipster t-shirt, a stupid hipster pin, supported some artists I like, and got some kind of heavy meta philosophy homestuck garbage that pretty much nothing but homestuck in and of itself was delivering lately. The characters are nice, but that's not like really why I'm into it. isn't really uplifting. I think it needs to be a little more anime. I, if you if you absolutely must do commentary on a on a visual novel or dating sim, pre-test it. Make sure there's enough anime to carry it. Thanks for bearing with me if for whatever reason you're still watching this. Um uh, That's a nice melancholy ending. I Galaga is sort of a one-track joke. Okay, there's no way there's no credit music. Something's bugging out here. I'm sorry. I'll see if I can figure it out and put it into post. Maybe someone's ripped the soundtrack or something. Because I know there were supposed to be good musicians in this, I think. Okay, yeah, Hussey did not write mo most of that. Yeah, all the artists are great. Oh, uh, Donko was by the same guy as Davis Bright. Donko! I need to remember that name. Well, I think if you want to be pretentious, which I always do, uh, you could probably draw some kind of heavy-handed lessons about gaming and fandoms. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna assume that there was probably a credits theme at one point. You know, I really don't know much about networking, like computer networks. Is it possible that the music was hosted on some server that already went down but the game wasn't? I don't believe that's how it works, but I really don't know enough about it to make a solid decision. If, if you happen to know that sort of thing, let me know. It's probably just Chrome being buggy crap with Flash, but I don't want to assume things about this game, because I assumed that I was going to be able to play it in its entirety at some point, whenever I felt like it. And, uh, that didn't, that didn't work out. Well, I'll try to put some boppin' tunes in, um, have a heavy-handed disclaimer, heavy-handed sulfur, sulfur photograph of me wearing an Amco High shirt. 
Yeah, it'll it'll be a good night. Well, thanks for coming out, everyone. Oh wait, more credits? Are they gonna apologize for taking down their servers in like six months after release? True to yourself. That's cute. Well, comes a time when you have to ask yourself Do I think I'm too good for Pac Man jokes? And if not, what's the value of the Pac Man joke? Th this is what I was looking for. That's, that's really cute. And probably. Well, I don't know. It was pretty well written. I, I'm not... I wasn't being generous. And it would probably make sense if some of the other endings were just as melancholy, considering... Yeah, so the store, I happened to get everything for free because I had pre-ordered it. But... Oh, the Homestuck characters are all default, I guess? Well, that's Namco High. An interesting case study, if nothing else. Wish I had known it was shutting down sooner so I could have tried like a few of the different paths on different nights, but there's no way I'm marathoning this for the possibly two more I can get before midnight. I think my greatest regret is missing out on the music. I'm going to see if someone uploaded the soundtrack and maybe I can do a farce at stitching it all together. I mean, I guess you don't care about me saying that now because I either did or didn't. But, again, thanks for bearing with me. Hopefully it was enlightening if you were not among the people who knew about this game before it went down. And, uh, Semper Games.